Hey guys, Matt Snyder's here, and today, today I'm back with my favorite subreddit, Entitled Parents, r slash Entitled Parents, top of the month, I'm gonna just be looking through and finding some good ones to read, because <laughs> this one is just like, just read things and laugh. So I, I did scroll through it a bit earlier. And I found this one. It's an extra large one, so I figured, why not? Because <laughs> it is. Just the title just caught my attention, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> Let's go. My parents attempt to break up my relationship several times, culminating in the Thanksgiving from hell. Okay, this is a long one. But I hope it is worth the read. My wife is a long time worker and I have recently started reading these and listening to the stories so I was inspired to post. My parents have been a pain in, the, uh, in my ass, but for now I am mostly going to focus on my thanksgiving from hell and the incidents leading to it. A few years ago I met my future wife on an online dating app. Not that bad of a situation. Uh, we hit it off fairly quickly, and the relationship progressed really fast. I was in my late 20s. She turned 30 soon after we met. Yeah, a bit of an age gap then. Not bad. Uh, we both had a good idea of what we were looking for in a partner. And had no interest in games. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to judge someone for their lack of interest in games. <laughs> I met her parents within a few months, though I was much more reluctant to introduce her to mine for reasons that will come become apparent. The problems began as soon as I told my folks I was dating someone. This was about six months into my relationship, and I was reluctant to inform my parents. Due to the fact that they tried to call the cops on my last long-term girlfriend, might share that story like What? No, what? <laughs> Already we're getting some interesting info. What? Myself, my brother, and my parents were having dinner at a local Mexican restaurant and making small talk. They started asking me questions about my girlfriend. Mostly the uh, usual innocent questions. But at some point, I, I let slip that she was Jewish. Boy, that was a mistake. Oh, no. My parents are hyper-conservative Christians. For years, they had been trying to get me to date a girl from our church, a good friend of mine. But we were never a really good match to be a couple. I am, I am always expected I would marry someone who was at least Christian. I am Christian by belief to this day, but I really have interactions with the church due to some incidents with the priest. Not that kind of incident, but yet yeah, another good story for later. <laughs> My dad, w without missing a beach, told me I should break up with her. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. <laughs> he told me that I was going to marry a Christian girl, and that was that. There are some no-nos in, in videos, politics, and religion. You don't talk about religion. I'm breaking the rule of not talking about religion in this video by literally talking about the, what, the one post I choose is about religion. <laughs> I was pissed and I don't remember the full extent of the rest of that conversation. I told him that I was not breaking up with her, and the rest of the dinner was tense. The next couple of months went about as smooth as you might imagine, but I thought I was slowly wearing them down. At some point, they invited my girlfriend and I over for dinner, and I thought there was finally some progress being made. <laughs> nope! <laughs> they got my brother to distract me in another room of the house while they sat down with my girlfriend and explained why they did not think she was good for me. 
They straight up told my girlfriend that she needed to break up with me because I was going to marry a good Christian girl. They, they even offered to pay her if she ended up leaving me. My girlfriend politely told them off and we left. <laughs> oh my god. Fast forward to November, the month of my birthday. Well, my birthday, not the person's birthday. My birthday, I happen to be born on November 7th. <laughs> my family is really big on the holidays. And as I know many, as I know many are, and we had very lo large extended family gatherings for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I think in my entire life, we, only, we had only missed one of these events. I wanted to go and take my girlfriend to meet the rest of the family. My parents may have said, may have had their heads up their asses, but the rest of my family has always seemed great to me. The event would be at my grandmother's house this year, my mum's mother, with a small gathering for my dad's side the day before Thanksgiving. Givering. <laughs> Givering. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> I talked to my grandmother, who was fine with me bringing my girlfriend so up, bring with me bringing my girlfriend up so long as she slept in a separate room. No problem. No, I am going to fuck my girlfriend in my grandmother's house anyway. Nice. <laughs> There's some places yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Your grandmother's house is definitely one of those, uh, and another one is like more like. You don't do it in a car or anything like that. Like, situational awareness is important. <laughs> I decided to ask my mother as well. Not that I needed her permission, but I am an optimist and I hope that she would be on board and maybe see my girlfriend having positive interactions with the family would help the situation. My mother was resistant at first, mainly because she was upset that we were getting an apartment together and did not want to encourage the, encourage the relationship further, but eventually agreed. I should also note, there are some very clear boundaries with my mother about conversation for this trip, which she brushed off, brushed off as unnecessary. But I had my guide up nevertheless. Nonetheless. <laughs> we head out to my grandmother's city, and frankly, the first day is nothing but pleasant. My girlfriend gets to beat my, both of my grandmothers, some of my cousins, and other extended family. We are having a fairly good time, and I think we are going to go well. Until my girlfriend and I decide to go to a movie. We are going to see a rival in theatres. My brother, who is five years older than me, wants to tag along. He rode up with my parents. My girlfriend and I came up in my car, so my brother has to ride with us to the movie. The three of us sit together, and my girlfriend and I snuggle through most of it. It was a fantastic movie, and the ending made me cry. My girlfriend held me as the credits rolled, but I think all the colors had not sat well with my brother, who was single. Oh no, no, the jealous brother, oh no. He got up, and I will never forget what he said, or the malicious tone he said it in. He said it. Too bad mum and dad will never let you marry her because she's Jew. At this point, you'd just be like, Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, I'm marrying this girl, I'm out. <laughs> you are kidding me. My brother jogged out of the theatre before even my girlfriend and I could muster up our response. We sat there a bit dumbfounded for a few minutes. Eventually the house lights went up in the theatre and we tried to formulate a plan. I had no idea what my brother is at this point. But he can't go too far considering we drove him. I decided to call my folks considering I have no clue where he is and really don't want to talk to him at this point. To my surprise, my mother sides with me and tells me it is alright if we just leave him. He can, he can get an Uber back. We half consider it, but we find him on the way out and my girlfriend, used to dealing with assholes and children in her job, 
completely cows cows him with what? What? What is completely cows him with what? What? He suddenly rides back with us. We drop him off, and my girlfriend and I go have dinner by ourselves. We debate just leaving, but decide my parents would not have crossed any of the boundaries we set. Ha they haven't crossed any of the boundaries they set. So we'll stay for now. It will not take them long though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that same evening, I was getting ready to watch some Netflix in bed with my girlfriend. Nothing untoward was going to happen. She just likes falling asleep to the Great British cooking, a baking show. <laughs> Cooking show, baking show, sort of the same thing. <laughs> As I walk past the living room, my mother calls me in and complains that I'm not spending enough time with my family. I'm a bit angry at this com common manipulation tactic from my mother, but go chat for my mother for my grandmother's sake. My mum tries to tell me that my grandmother is upset with me, that my girlfriend and I are planning on moving in together before we are married. I decide that my grandmother does not need my mother being a mouthpiece for her, so I sit on the couch in between the two of them and face my grandmother. <laughs> my grandmother and I chat. She is a bit worried about me moving in with a woman while unwed, but we calmly discuss the situation. She does not back down on her objection, but eventually concedes that it is my life. She likes my girlfriend, and she is happy for us regardless. This entire time, my mother has been constantly trying to button on the conversation, but I am physically putting myself between her and my grandmother, which is just pissing my mother off. Eventually, my father sees what's going on and also butts in. Apparently, he can't contain himself anymore and just goes off about everything he sees wrong with my relationship. I can't remember his exact rhymes. I likely tuned them out, but I did call him a coward for talking shit about my girl behind my girlfriend's back. She was in her room, still waiting on me. This really pissed him off, and he stormed out to fetch my girlfriend. He came back with my girlfriend and in tow and proceeded to tear into her in front of me. My mum, my grandmother, who was mortified that this was happening in her house. <laughs> my son will be Christian, his wife will be Christian, his children will be baptised in our church. He was nearly screaming at her. He also basically accused her of trying to steal my inheritance by getting me, getting knocked up by me and adding some very inappropriate commentary about how he knew my girlfriend was getting older and her biological clock was ticking down. Wow! <laughs> Through the whole tirade, my wife stood there quietly. Like I said, she is used to dealing with assholes, and she is tough as nails. Letting him finish up and run out of energy, my girlfriend turned to my grandmother and begged her for her hospitality, before turning back to my father and asking, why did you even invite us here if you were going to act like this? <laughs> My dad yelled again, We did not invite you here. We never would have invited you here. At this point, I gleefully pulled out my phone and showed him the conversation I had, I had had with my mother, where she agreed for my girlfriend to be here. My dad could not find words, but glared at his wife. <laughs> at this point, I told them that my girlfriend and I were leaving. It was near 11 p.m., but we packed up our car, packed up my car, and left for our hometown. My dad got in one more word before we left, saying, "You two better have broken up by the time you get home. Have a long, hard thought about your future." To which I just laugh as we got in the car. My girlfriend and I drove home on pure adrenaline. We alternated between. Angry, humiliation, and frustration at the absurdity of the whole thing. The story does have a have something of a happy ending, though. Eh, I'm bubbling my words. <laughs> but let's get going. In the days that followed, we got a lot of call, calls and messages of support from my relatives, who I had not told about the incident. 
Turns out my brother had made some vague social media posts about how sad he was for me and asking everyone to pray for my brother. When my parents were forced to explain the situation, all of my relatives sided with my girlfriend and I. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Fuck your parents! <laughs> In the months that followed, this incident caused my grandmother to think back on how she had acted with her own daughters. Turns out my mo that my mother had been the only marriage out of three daughters my mother, my grandmother had approved of. Oh, this incident had made my grandma realize that she had acted poorly with her other daughters, and she came to them to finally mend those old wounds. Yes, an argument. Leads to bending relationships. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had no idea. It was as it always seemed like my grandmother and her daughters had a great relationship. But these were old wounds that had just scabbed rather than really healed. Overall, my family got closer because of this. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> In addition, my father has had a dramatic change over the course of the intervening years. Where once it seemed like we were not going to invite my parents to my wedding, my dad actually ended up being my dad ended up actually being the happiest person there when my girlfriend, now wife, and I tied the knot. <laughs> okay, so fuck the mother. <laughs> Sounds wrong, but she was a bitch. <laughs> this has been helped by the fact that he discovered some underlying mental health issues. After that Thanksgiving and the meds he is using are truly helping him. He's he has started acting like the father I loved when I was a kid. My mother is still a problem. And boy do I have more stories. But she is mostly behaving because she knows my wife and I can and will block her from seeing her future grandchildren. <laughs> that was a roller coaster, long story, but it was fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and find a short story now. Okay, here's one. My mother wants me to just suck it up and spend time with her and my older brother who molested me because it's Mother's Day. Yes. The worse out and the better it is. Oh my gosh, this is just a... This, is, this episode is just... Just cancer. My parents live in another state from me and my older brother and I visited them a few days ago because it was my mother's birthday today. I am still, I'm currently still with them. The plan is for me to stay for a little over a week until mother's day. Before coming, I made sure my older brother, who I am not comfortable with, wasn't coming. He molested me as a kid, and I just started realizing how much damage he had caused me after starting therapy. Yep. <laughs> Religion and molesting. Best video ever. <laughs> I told my mother about why I wanted to cut him off a few months ago. But she didn't think it was a big deal. I have managed to not see or talk to him for nearly four months, which is the longest I've ever gone. It has been wonderful. Hmm. My mum told me that he wasn't coming on her birthday or Mother's Day, but I found out she lied after I arrived here. Apparently my dad and her were talking to my older brother about coming on Mother's Day without me being aware of it. I found out through my older sibling. Today I told her I really don't feel comfortable around my older brother after what he did to me as a kid and I don't want to see him. After I brought up how I found out After I brought up how I found out he's actually coming. Wrong phrasing! Phrasing! She started to say how important Mother's Day is for her and how I should suck it up because she would suck it up and put a smile on it. <laughs> Again! <laughs> no! Around 
relatives. She did like if it made her mother happy. The thing is, I really want, I really did want to spend Mother's Day with her, because I know that this day is important to her. But being around my older brother just seems incredibly triggering, and I don't know what to do. You just stay around for the morning half of the day, and then you be, you just be like, oh. I just realized I have something important that I need to go and do. And then just, you don't wait for your mother to respond. You just walk. You just walk out. That was two good episodes. That was two, like, wrong stories. Yikes. <laughs> and with that, uh, with that, uh, I'm going to end the episode. <laughs> like, it was really short, but... <sighs> I don't want to do too many stories at once. I'm going to be coming back to Dark Parents at some point in the month. Uh, like, next month. Because, holy jeez, this is just... This is just cancer. Oh, my God. Anyways, links will be in the description to my my main channel and this channel along with everything else that I use also a quick special announcement doing a live stream on Wednesday on the main channel I told you it was quick anyways don't, don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell a ding a ding so you know when the next video comes out I'm the mad scientist mad scientist out <laughs>